Hello! Welcome to this drum lesson for Buddy Holly by Weezer. Um, so yeah, Weezer, great band. Um, and this one's really good for beginners. Um, it's It's got some trickiness to it, but it's a nice um, sort of 120-ish tempo. So not too fast and... Yeah, just some nice little uh, patterns and some nice kind of pushes and stuff. So let's get straight into this. So the verse is nice and simple. We're just eighth notes, um, kicks on one and three, snares on two and four. So just your standard money beat. Um, so I'll play that for you. It's like this. So you just got that, you, and be your eighth notes running on there. The hats are a little bit trashy, like they're not really tight. Um, they're not really open. They're just a little bit slightly open. So what you want, might want to do with the left foot is just just leaving um, just a slight bit of tension off um, the pedal. So it's just it's not, but it's not. It's like. So just relaxing the leg and the foot gives that kind of uh, trash feel. Um, there's a little bit in the verse where he does an extra kick, which is on beat three, the last 16th note of beat three. So that's like this. And it kind of goes with the, the key, the sort of synth part. Yeah, so that happens sort of halfway through the verse. Um, then we're into this kind of pre-chorus bit where we're on the ride. Um, and it's got this motif that's happening, which is pushes on beat two and. Um, so that's happening every every two bars. Um, so, so I think there's four bars in that section, yeah. Four bars in that section, it's happening on the second bar. So the kicks uh, change to doing them on one and one and, three and three and. So you're kind of like... Okay, so then after that push, the push on two and, the next kick is on three and before the next back beat. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> it's on three and. So nice and slowly, that, that pre book chorus. And then we've got this kind of two bar build um, that, the drummer does a lot, he does a lot of this. Um, what's his name? It's Pat something. Sorry, Pat. But he's, he's great, he's a really great player, I really like. Um, he's another guy that just writes really great parts that just fit really well um, and are very hooky. Um, but he does a lot of these kind of build sections. So this is like a two bar build, starting from quiet and then building up into the chorus, so like a... So it's kind of doing one hand on the crash, one hand on the on the um, snare and the kick. Okay, so that comes at the end of that four bar pre-chorus bit. And then we're into the chorus, which is open hats, and we're just doing kicks on back to the two, two kicks. So kicks on one and one hand, three and three hand, and the snares on two and four. So like That's the chorus, so the chorus is really simple. Um, then we're back to the verse, uh, pre-chorus. Um, and then we've got this kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, 
riff section, which is on the crash. section I sort of I don't know if this is right or not but after he does the two boom boom gap gap there seems to be like a little gap in the crash so it's more like so like a little kind of gap in the crash you could do an extra hit there and then then before the last chorus we've got this 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 kind of build section back onto the hats again we're doing a push on two and so it's like dun, dun, gap, dun, dun, gap, dun, dun, gap. again that push is on two and um, and then we've got a big long build up so that's it's like a three bar build and then the last, the last bar is like the the guitar riff before it goes into the last, the last chorus. But the the build ends on four and so it's like. Back into the last chorus. Um. So yeah, that build is three bars ends ends on four and so the last bar is one and two and three and four and um, and then the last chorus is the same for some reason in the last chorus he doesn't do two kicks every time so he just kind of goes back to the verse thing but the chorus boom so doing kicks on one and three but then I think every two bars he does two kicks but I don't know whether that's a um, thing he meant to do or not. So that's it. Sorry I forgot your name, Pat, but you're great. Nice. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.